Okay, so in this video, I'm going to talk about compensation income earners. And here you have employer employee relationship. So if you have that relationship, the employee is getting compensation income. And here you have what we call gross compensation income. It's not gross income anymore. It will be more specific. Gross compensation income. And for this one, I will divide it into two. Number one, excluded. And number two, subject to regular income tax. For excluded, we have a lot, but I will just be uh, mentioning a few. Number one, the uh, share of the employee in the following SSS or GSIS Feel Health and then Pag-ibig so those are excluded another also excluded here is the 13th month pay I just write MP and other benefits but there is like a limit so the maximum exclusion here is only 90,000 so if you are given 13 month pay and other benefits of 150,000 only 90,000 of that is excluded the rest are part of your subject to regular income tax and in exercises, you will often see that these things, yung SSS, Pilat Pag-ibig, 13 month pay, they are deducted. But they are deducted because they are excluded, not because they are deductions. And I will elaborate more on that later. So you have your excluded. Now we jump to subject to regular income tax. Once you get the value here, you will transfer it to your regular income tax model. So, we will have gross compensation income subject to regular income tax. And then, you, you will deduct your allowable deductions to get your taxable income. To apply, let's assume some figures. Let's say your gross compensation income is 100,000. And if you combine your exclusions... Let's say your exclusion is 5,000, leaving you with 95,000 gross compensation income subject to regular income tax. So here you have 95,000. And then for the allowable deduction, always remember that if you are a compensation income earner, allowable deduction is always zero. Okay? Despite not having allowable deductions for compensation income earner, you will be seeing deductions in the computation. But those deductions are not deducted because they are allowable deductions. They are deducted because they are exclusions. They are here. They are excluded. Okay? And then, after that, you don't have allowable deductions. So it's the same. Your gross compensation income subject to regular income tax is also your taxable income right so let me just note here that this one is always zero always zero because compensation income earners are not granted any allowable deduction but they have exclusions no, in their gross income so once you get your taxable income you will refer to the Tax table, so I'll write TT to get your income tax due. So I have a video for this one. No? I computed income tax due using the withholding tax table and then the annual income tax table. Although sometimes, you don't really have to refer to the tax table anymore. You don't need to compute the income tax due anymore. Automatically, it becomes zero, the income tax due. Why? Maybe... Your employee is a minimum wage earner. So that's another topic. 
Before I discuss MWE, minimum wage earner, I will just recap the discussion. No? For gross compensation income, you will be removing the excluded. And then the amount subject to regular income tax, you will be using it in your regular income tax model to get your taxable income. After getting your taxable income, you will refer to the tax table to get the income tax due. And sometimes, you don't really need to refer to the tax table anymore because whatever your taxable income is, it becomes zero if the employee is a minimum wage earner. So that's another topic. What's a minimum wage earner? Minimum wage earner are those right now ah, who are getting... 537 pesos per day in NCR or so if they are getting 537 they are minimum wage earner or 537 again and then also getting Honzi so what's Honzi? for this one we have letter H holiday pay O overtime pay And then N, night shift differential pay. Night shift. And for Z, it's hazard pay. So if your employee is getting 537 and also getting these four, holiday, overtime, night shift differential, and hazard pay, that employee is still minimum wage earner and automatically whatever their taxable income their income tax due is zero they are tax exempt okay so given that let's try answering some questions okay so let's say you are given a gross compensation income of 400,000 mandatory contributions of 10,000 13 month pay and other benefits of 100,000 and you are tasked to compute the taxable income and income tax due so start with your gross compensation income it's 400,000 remove the exclusions so remove the mandatory contribution of 10,000 plus do not use 100 because the maximum amount that you can deduct for 13 month pay and other benefits is only 90,000 so instead of writing 100,000 we only write 90,000 so add the two, that's 100,000, giving you the gross compensation income subject to regular income tax of 300,000. Of course, for the allowable deduction, it's zero. So your gross compensation income subject to regular income tax is also your taxable compensation income, 300,000. So this is your taxable income now how much is your income tax due so you refer to the tax table it is 20% of the excess of 300k your amount over 250,000 so inside you have 50,000 times 20% that's 10,000 so let's try another one what if you are a minimum wage earner and your gross compensation income is 200,000 your Honzi your holiday overtime night shift differential and hazard pay is 400,000 and then your mandatory contributions 10,000 13 month pay and other benefits 70,000 your tax to compute the taxable income and the income tax due so let's start Let's get your gross compensation income. That's 200,000. And the reason why you are given HONS here is maybe it's not part of your gross compensation income yet. So we'll add that one. 400,000. And then before we can get the amount subject to regular income tax, we need to remove our exclusions our mandatory contributions as well as our 13 month pay and other benefits since the maximum amount for the 13 month pay and other benefits is 90,000 70,000 is okay so you add that one that's 80 reduce that to get the GCI 
regular income tax and this is 520k and of course allowable deduction is zero so this is your taxable compensation income and then for the income tax due what's the income tax due you will not be computing anymore because you are given a minimum wage earner who is only receiving his minimum wage and honzi holiday overtime night shift differential and hazard pay so the answer is zero because of that and that's it for this video in the next video i'm going to talk about naman business income earners